Hey guys, it's Blake. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the landing pages of competitors Dollar Shave Club and Harry's. As two of the biggest subscription-based online razor companies, they're fighting over the same set of eyes. So let's compare. First up, we have Dollar Shave Club's page, which I've talked about in the previous video. The first thing you're likely to see is this. It's from their Get Ready ad campaign, which is designed to get you thinking about your own grooming habits. Look at this statement right here. With this, they're telling you, Oh, while you're thinking about that, you might as well try one of our starter sets. It's risk-free. What's the worst that could happen? It's just a starter set. So this is pretty much the call to action, front and center. But if you're so inclined to fight off the urge to get started, you can scroll down and get a nice view of some of their products, with an explanation of how their service works in three steps. Oh, and look, there's another get started button. They're saying, you might as well start that trial now since you know how our service works. And by the way, we do free shipping and you can cancel anytime. And unless you're impossible to please, satisfaction is guaranteed. So at this point, they've made it clear that you're unlikely to be inconvenienced by doing it. But wait, there's more. You get your refills whenever you want. Here they make it clear that the more you buy, the more you save. It's called the handsome discount. And if you buy at least two products, you'll have a chance to get certain products discounted. Nice. Next, they reiterate again how flexible their shipments are, you know, to keep you moving down the pipeline. At this point, most people might have this nagging, it's too good to be true feeling. And they have a section for that right here. They make it clear that there's no catch, followed by some fact. Now I've read all of these already, and this is funny to me, because when I read the answers to these questions, I do so in a salesman's voice. Not in a bad way or anything, it's just like, they're answering the questions here, and doing a great job of selling the service along the way. A lot of companies just answer the questions and leave it at that, but this feels like talking to a salesperson that knows how to do their job. There's personality to it, which I'm sure is implemented to lower one's guard. And if you have more questions, they implemented the support tab over here where you can find answers to more questions or ask your own. Then of course you've got the get started button again at the bottom. It even follows you around, you just can't get away from this thing. So I think the design is fun and engaging. The further down you go on the page, the closer you are to giving in, until you feel compelled to hit that get started button. I think this does come across as a little pushy, but I also think that means they're doing their job well, as it functions like a slide for incoming traffic, from the funnel into the pipeline, aka the get started button. So I should probably mention where this get started button actually leads. When you click on it, it takes you to a questionnaire Dollar Shave Club does to gauge what starter kit you might prefer, before asking you to sign up. And if you're interested in their social media pages, they have links for all of them down here. But they're barely noticeable to begin with, so unless you're really looking for it, you'll probably end up missing this section altogether. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at Harry's. So now we're on Harry's, and right off the bat, their landing page is simple and short compared to Dollar Shave Club. Which I can already say gives Harry's an advantage with traffic that don't want to spend too long on the page. There is less to read and less to look at, which can really help in this situation. The first thing you'll likely see is this kit, which they say is all you need for a close, comfortable shave. See this get started button? That's the call to action. Just one button. So Dollar Shave Club appears to be taking notes from Harry's here, because when I originally made this video, Dollar Shave Club's call to action button just said, do it. This had been their call to action phrase for years. And I think it's safe to say this change probably had something to do with the recent Nike controversy. Below this is where they promote a new product they've released, which in this case is body wash and bar soap. This next section down here includes three mini sections. The first section here says it's a close and comfortable shave. You can click on this section to expand it and see the reasons why. This is where the razor gets sold. If they're such good quality, then there must be a catch. Well, just like Dollar Shave Club, Harry's is ready to counter your skepticism with an explanation of why the blades are inexpensive. As we saw earlier, Dollar Shave Club has a similar section where they counter skepticism, but Harry's actually explains why their razors are half the price of store razors of a similar blade count, rather than just telling you why you shouldn't buy store razors, like Dollar Shave Club does. And this third section here reinforces their commitment to quality support, which is reassuring to any potential customer. Mentioning that the razors are designed with input from the customers is a pretty smart move too, because it implies they actually listen to feedback. So one thing that I want to point out is that the copy is direct and to the point, which contrasts with Dollar Shave Club's more lighthearted, jokey copy. 
Since Harry's does a better job than Dollar Shave Club at getting their point across in only a few words, this will give them an edge with the less patient prospects. At the bottom here, you've got three featured products, prices included. If you hover over Quick Learn under the products, it actually gives you more details about them, which again is great for anyone not looking to spend a lot of time shopping toiletries. I also like it when they do color options like this, because anyone with a preferred color is going to imagine themselves owning that product in particular. This helps spark interest and funnel traffic to conversion. All in all, this section is a great addition that Dollar Shave Club lacks on their page. At the bottom right corner here, you can find them advertising their recently released iPhone app, which most people will probably end up ignoring anyways. Lastly, at the very bottom, you might just notice these social media buttons. The original design is a nice touch, but people won't find them unless they're really looking for them, and maybe that's done intentionally. I don't know. So, the design of this page is minimalistic, direct, and a bit dull compared to Dollar Shave Clubs. Now I want to take a look at the landing page of the Razor brand with the largest market share, Gillette. Yikes. Scratch that, they clearly haven't updated this page since 2008. So, when comparing the two of them, there's a few things to notice. Dollar Shave Club takes a more aggressive approach by keeping its call to action on your screen at all times, with multiple buttons. Harry's only has that one, so Dollar Shave Club gets a point for that. What Harry's does get a point for though is that they have featured products listed on their page, and considering the short length of the page, I feel like this is a good use of product pushing. But Dollar Shave Club also has that section on the save as you go discount, and their facts section is pretty fleshed out as well, in addition to that corner help button implemented which is also visible at all times. So there's that. Overall, Dollar Shave Club's landing page has more flair and personality, while Harry's page takes a more streamlined approach, and both sell you as you scroll down, with Dollar Shave Club disarming you as you go, and Harry's taking a more traditional approach by quickly highlighting key points. I think both pages might have benefited from not suffocating their social media links at the bottom. Maybe making them just a little bit more noticeable would improve traffic to those pages. Also, I feel like Dollar Shave Club does a better job explaining their service as a whole, while Harry's does a great job at delivering a ton of information in a short amount of time. So I don't think there's a clear winner here. When considering which page is more likely to get conversions, it really just comes down to what that person is looking for when they stumble upon this page. In the end, if you're new to the concept of subscription shaving, Dollar Shave Club will probably do a better job at holding your attention, because their main tactic is to disarm you with subtle humor and the promise of convenience. This is engaging for traffic, because as you weigh the pros and cons, you almost always feel like you're having a conversation with the page. On the other hand, if you've got a super short attention span with no time to waste, Harry's page will be more accommodating towards that. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.